Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Have another here journal for you. Numbers chapter 32, the record of the wilderness journey. The Here to See channel focused on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. We've been reading through numbers a chapter at a time, doing a here journal video on each chapter. Here journaling is a method that many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about here journaling. But now, let's read and listen to Numbers chapter 32 in the New Living Translation from the Version Bible app. Then I'll share my here journal with you. Chapter 32 The Tribes East of the Jordan the tribes of Reuben and Gad owned vast numbers of livestock. So when they saw that the lands of Jazer and Gilead were ideally suited for their flocks and herds, they came to Moses, Eleazar the priest, and the other leaders of the community. They said, Notice the towns of Adaroth, Debon, Jazer, Nimrah, Heshbon, Elila, Sibma, Nebo, and Beon. The Lord has conquered this whole area for the community of Israel, and it is ideally suited for all our livestock. If we have found favor with you, please let us have this land as our property, instead of giving us land across the Jordan River. Do you intend to stay here while your brothers go across and do all the fighting? Moses asked the men of Gad and Reuben. Why do you want to discourage the rest of the people of Israel from going across to the land the Lord has given them? Your ancestors did the same thing when I sent them from Kadesh Barnea to explore the land. After they went up to the valley of Eshkol and explored the land, they discouraged the people of Israel from entering the land the Lord was giving them. Then the Lord was very angry with them, and he vowed, Of all those I rescued from Egypt, no one who is twenty years old or older will ever see the land I swore to give to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, for they have not obeyed me wholeheartedly. The only exceptions are Caleb, son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, and Joshua, son of Nun, for they have wholeheartedly followed the Lord. The Lord was angry with Israel and made them wander in the wilderness for forty years until the entire generation that sinned in the Lord's sight had died. But here you are, a brood of sinners, doing exactly the same thing. You are making the Lord even angrier with Israel. If you turn away from him like this and he abandons them again in the wilderness, you will be responsible for destroying this entire nation. But they approached Moses and said, we simply want to build pens for our livestock and fortified towns for our wives and children. Then we will arm ourselves and lead our fellow Israelites into battle until we have brought them safely to their land. Meanwhile, our families will stay in the fortified towns we build here, so they will be safe from any attacks by the local people. We will not return to our homes until all the people of Israel have received their portions of land. But we do not claim any of the land on the other side of the Jordan. We would rather live here on the east side and accept this as our grant of land. Then Moses said, if you keep your word and arm yourselves for the Lord's battles, and if your troops cross the Jordan and keep fighting until the Lord has driven out his enemies, then you may return when the Lord has conquered the land. You will have fulfilled your duty to the Lord and to the rest of the people of Israel, and the land on the east side of the Jordan will be your property from the Lord. But if you fail to keep your word, then you will have sinned against the Lord, and you may be sure that your sin will find you out. Go ahead and build towns for your families and pens for your flocks, but do everything you have promised. Then the men of Gad and Reuben replied, We, your servants, will follow your instructions exactly. Our children, wives, flocks, and cattle will stay here in the towns of Gilead, but all who are able to bear arms will cross over to fight for the Lord, just as you have said. So Moses gave orders to Eleazar the priest, Joshua, son of Nun, and the leaders of the clans of Israel. He said, The men of Gad and Reuben, who are armed for battle, must cross the Jordan with you to fight for the Lord. If they do, give them the land of Gilead as their property when the land is conquered. But if they refuse to arm themselves and cross over with you, then they must accept land with the rest of you in the land of Canaan. The tribes of Gad and Reuben said again, We are your servants, and we will do as the Lord has commanded. We will cross the Jordan into Canaan, fully armed, to fight for the Lord, but our property will be here on this side of the Jordan. 
So Moses assigned land to the tribes of Gad, Reuben, and half the tribe of Manasseh, son of Joseph. He gave them the territory of King Sihon of the Amorites, and the land of King Og of Bashan, the whole land with its cities and surrounding lands. The descendants of Gad built the towns of Debon, Adaroth, Aror, Atroth Shofan, Jazer, Jogbia, Beth Nimrah, and Beth Haran. These were all fortified towns with pens for their flocks. The descendants of Reuben built the towns of Heshbon, Eliel, Kiritheum, Nebo, Baalmeon, and Sibma. They changed the names of some of the towns they conquered and rebuilt. Then the descendants of Maker of the tribe of Manasseh went to Gilead and conquered it, and they drove out the Amorites living there. So Moses gave Gilead to the Makerites, descendants of Manasseh, and they settled there. The people of Jair, another clan of the tribe of Manasseh, captured many of the towns in Gilead and changed the name of that region to the towns of Jair. Meanwhile, a man named Noba captured the town of Kenath and its surrounding villages, and he renamed that area Noba after himself. And that was Numbers chapter 32 in the New Living Translation from the U Version Bible app. Now for my hear journal. First, the highlight. Numbers chapter 32, verse 13. Verse 13, The Lord was angry with Israel and made them wander in the wilderness for forty years until the entire generation that sinned in the Lord's sight had died. So, what's my explanation? The Lord made the people of Israel wander for 40 years until the entire generation had passed away, other than Caleb and Joshua. This was due to the disobedience of the first generation of the people of Israel. So, what's the application for us today? Today we have many people in disobedience and even rebellion with the Lord. We all must suffer the consequences of this unfaithfulness. However, the Holy Spirit is with us and will sustain us in the midst of chaos until our Lord Jesus returns to bring us into His promised land. Reference John 16.33 I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Philippians 4, 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Isaiah 26, 3. You keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Philippians 4, 7, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Romans 15, 13, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Finally, brothers, rejoice Aim for restoration, comfort one another, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. And what's my response? Lord, thank you for this wonderful life that I have in you. Help me, Lord, as I seek to follow you faithfully and obediently. Help your body of believers to be united in you to resist the lies and temptations of our enemy. I pray for those that do not know you. May they find you. Amen. Amen. Now, how about you? Why don't you try some here journaling? Highlight, explain, apply, respond. 
You'll be so glad you did. Comment below. Share your experiences with us. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, read the Gospel of John chapter 3 to learn about His forgiveness and talk to God about it. He's waiting on you, you know, so seek Him now. God bless.